Hey guys, this is my Roth IRA account. Um, as you can see, I've put in 24000 and it's only worth 19 something right now. So um, I've gained uh, over 2000 in dividends, but I've lost over 4000 in market gain. Um, the majority of that is the BAK where I have a concentrated position and in a couple months ago I could have sold it for break even and uh, I chose not to and maybe that was a mistake maybe I should have got rid of it and uh, as you can see my personal picks is up a thousand dollars so I seem to be doing pretty good on that um, the monthly dividends Roth is just SJT which has took a big dump lately um, it was down to six or seven and um, the other one is Maine um, and then I got uh, 20 dividend challengers which are companies that have increased their dividends for five to nine consecutive years i got 18 in the monthly dividends and trust and then i just decided to put one percent in google exxon berkshire s p 500 microsoft oracle and i had i decided to add chevron and oxy but i haven't actually bought any of those yet that's just what my <clears throat> my plan is and even though i think all of those companies are the are probably overvalued um they're big companies they're not going to go bankrupt and uh, if I'm wrong on some things at least I'll have a little bit of a percentage in something quote quote safe but um, I mean I could go crazy and just sell everything and put it all in BAK and just double down on that one <laughs> one position um, but if I'm wrong uh, there goes my Roth so it's at 30 uh, I got it at 22 percent weighting right now um, so I've kind of adjusted the weightings a little bit but the the, the main point is I just won't the dividend income um, I got well as you can see the the monthly the 18 monthly payers is only 1.9 percent right now but I got it at 10 percent weighting and the dividend challengers is at 7.8 percent but I got it at 10 so as more money comes in it will be buying um, some of these underweighted things um my pit my picks is at 29.6 i got it at 30 waiting so it's not going to be really buying any more of my picks for the time being and the the only reason the monthly dividend roth um, is up 22 percent instead of 20 percent is maine has gone up a little a couple dollars uh, even though SJT has tanked, Maine has gone up a little bit, and I got that 50 50. But you know, a couple weeks ago, this was at 21,000 or so, so um, I'm just going to hold tight and see what happens and hopefully BAK recovers. I think some point in the future BAK will double and at that point that will give me an opportunity to get out of the BAK position. And um, as far as the 18 uh, monthly 
dividends and trusts. Um, I have a 10% weighting in um, Petrobras, and Petrobras has actually been up recently, so so I've been up on that one. But anyway, um, I'll keep putting, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, 160 three dollars a week into this and and um, we'll see what happens and um, hopefully um, in the next few days I will start a position in Chevron and, and Occidental and one of the reasons I um, decided to do that was I mean I'm, I'm big on oil I've always believe that uh, oil is going to be more expensive in the future I believe and um, Warren Buffett owns a big percentage of Occidental and he's he owns a quite a big stake in Chevron as well um, so anyway thanks for watching